Welcome to Cable's Farm. We're now going to do a little experiment again uh, using couscous instead of semolina as the wad in our shotguns. So here's some couscous which is basically uh, a coarse ground wheat. It's pretty coarse. It's probably about number 10 shot or something. Uh, this by comparison is your semolina which is a very fine powder. You can actually get a coarser semolina, which is intermediate between these two, but I don't have any. Now we've done the experiment with the fine semolina, uh, and I've set up the same rig to... Well, we've got our tube set up here. It's at the bottom of what is effectively a 32-inch barrel. So we're going to load it, uh, and in goes three drams of uh, fake powder forms a slight slope on the surface but we won't uh, worry about that. Now I'm going to put four drums of couscous down there. Right, so that's formed a nice level surface, gone down. There's quite a nice interface between the powder and the couscous. So now we've got some mixed shot going in, seven and six. Right, so how did we get on? In this lot mixes much less into the semolina than the previous uh, or into the couscous than the previous one. So the couscous is uh, a chopped wheat grain rather than a ground wheat grain like the semolina. So there we are, it's actually separated. Some of the semolina has gone up, in, some of the couscous rather has gone up into the shot and some of the shot has gone down into the semolina, into the couscous. Sorry, I'm using the two interchangeably. But basically, uh, it's a bit more separated than in the case when we were using fine semolina. If I rotate that, you'll see that uh, in some places it's sitting on top. But it's certainly not penetrated beyond about a third of the couscous. So it's, it's a, a more of a barrier. So you could probably get away with couscous using, uh, rather than the four drams of couscous equivalent volume that I used, uh, you could probably get away with the same volume as shot and The last stage of the couscous experiment is to try and see the effect of flame on it. We did the same thing with uh, semolina, we're now going to do it with couscous. So I've got my nice gas blown out here. I'm just going to see how far the flame penetrates into a mass of couscous to see whether it's uh, going to protect the shot. I've got a small piece of paper in the middle of that heap of couscous so I can see whether that gets charred so you can see we're we're playing quite a big flame on it for quite a long time so we're getting a lot of red hot couscous on the top there much more so than we would get if we were actually just had a quick explosion in there so there we are now we need to have a look and see what uh, is underneath that heat And as you can see, the, the couscous is unburnt there. The little piece of paper I put in there got scorched at the edge where it was just not quite underneath the, the couscous. But it's not, um, it's got a bit of coloration on it, but it doesn't appear to be actually damaged. So I think you can say from that that, that providing you've got, well, I don't know what, three or four millimeters of couscous between your shot and your powder you're probably not going to have a, uh, a very serious problem with damage to the shot thank you very much